Hey guys, welcome back. Um, doing a little bit of an upgrade today. Uh, had a short day at work, so today is going to be the day where I do something about my clearance issue. So I have an issue that when it's disconnected, that tire at full flex is stuffed in so hard that I can't do anything about it. <coughs> So, it doesn't affect the back so much. However, you know, that's not how sets work. So, we've got a full set painted. Uh, had it painted at a local um, auto body shop. A local-ish. Uh, they paint color match them. And uh, so, let's, let's check some clearances and stuff beforehand and then we will get those same numbers at the end. All right, so I'm gonna run all my numbers based upon with mud flaps on, just for reference. So we're looking at from here, uh, that's about six-ish inches. I'm gonna round them down um, for there. And then the top of the wheel well down is about eight and then in the front we're not at full turn it's pretty straight i'm not gonna go change it right this minute because i don't need to but we're looking at about uh, six there and probably about five and a half over on this side um if i were to turn the wheel in more I think it's about three inches worth uh, when it comes down to it. So I'm going to get the mud flaps pulled off. I'm going to have to take off my bracket for sway bar disconnect. On the rear fender now. Uh, I'm going to, I need to remove the three bolts there and then just you know, turning the ratchet the right way to loosen and uh, taking out these and once they're out then we see what else we need to take out. Alright so I've unloaded some of it. Uh, I need to take out these halogen DRLs so that I can prep them for when I put my LED DRLs from my original fenders in. So it's just a few Torx bit uh, screws, they're T30s. Rip the light out of this one, it's a new one. We've uh, got Jay here, he's gonna help because filming and uh, ripping apart fenders and ripping fenders off, not easy. Um, these were a pain to get off because there's like this sticky double-sided tape here that I didn't know was there. Um, now I know. Uh, might have to go inside and grab some other double-sided foam tape and refill that back in because there's a little bit that came off. Um, outside of that, uh, I'm gonna go take off one of the fenders now and... We're going to fill that light back in with the lights that are on the actual fenders and then put them back on. Alright, so I didn't film this to start with because uh, I did the other side but I'm not going to show you it yet. And uh, it's been deemed that taking out these three rivets here is much easier to deal with and just taking the li liner out beforehand. Why? Because of the stupid clips. These clips right here, they, they might be the thing I hate the most right now today. Because they do. But I'm going to go ahead and take these or drill these ones out real quick and then uh, 
put the other or pull it out and then I'll show you swapping the light out because I swapped the other light and it's a lot easier once I've done it once. are actually Christmas tree clips that I've got to take off. Okay. I don't know who that tool is. <laughs> this tool. The most used tool of this entire thing so far. That's free. Now to see all the crap that came. Oh, I lied. Here's one more. This one's not as dirty as the other side. Surprising. Alright, liner's out. And oh, there's still stuff in here that shouldn't be, but not as bad by nearly any means of the word. I have these clips here. Get to have the pleasure of squeezing the insides so that they can come out. It's not the easiest thing ever, but it's possible. Right. I'll go grab the pliers real quick. And then I also have to remove this bolt. Same. Yeah, shame. No shame. <laughs> that took way too much effort. But all the clips have either been broken or probably broken. Um, but, okay, come on. You're gonna. So I took out uh, this little screw, Christmas tree, it's gone now, uh, which opens up this piece of this right here so that we can get to the T30, T30 um, bolts that are here, 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 and then there's two more at the bottom right here, and that will make it so I can take the whole light out. comes loose which I remember now we have to take off this one because otherwise it won't come off far enough You know, sometimes I do things the hard way because I don't know any better. Like that, you know, I could just put this back on here, but no, I was trying to use my fingers the hard way. And then this one comes out, it doesn't have to. This one makes the side marker easier, it doesn't cause it to be in the way take it out because I don't want to have the problem of it potentially breaking. Which, I don't know if that helped in any way this time. Should just push through. Like, oh, there we go. It's also the problems of the mud and the dirt out. Put that back up. And there's more mud and dirt. 
and then just pull it out. There's like a double sided sticky tape here. As you can see, mud, lots of So, after the fiasco of the front side, on the other side, we're going to start over here and do the front clip first, lining up the rest. So let's, it's probably still going to be a fiasco just like the other side. Yep. So they line up, but you got to give them pressure underneath so that they will clip in to their spots and go into their home. The people that do this professionally are nuts. That's what I've deemed. They're just nuts. So put it on kind of have a little issue up here in the front with the, the front clip. It doesn't like to go in easily. So you kind of just shove a screwdriver in, pop it in, and it pops in super easily that way. Um, I've made it a little bit easier on myself. And I put in the two bolts that one's right behind the fender liner and one goes through this one. I deemed after the last time it's not needed to try to struggle more. Why ride the struggle bus when you're already on it? I mean, General. So now I'm just going to line these up as good as I can within reason. About there. And then try not to kill my finger. Pull it in. Like that. And then put the two bolts there and then the one bolt here. And then put in about a half dozen Christmas trees for both front fenders. And then I can do the back ones. Alright, front's done. Which looks massive. It looks like I need bigger tires now. We'll see. Probably not. Way far it doesn't want that. Um, she wants bigger tires first. Maybe these go on hers. I don't think that's going to work either because she wants the same size as me. That's not going to happen. Alright. I've already taken out the three screws that hold in the fender, inner fender liner to the back piece here. There's no additional screws that exist. There are Christmas trees <laughs> that I should probably remove before I get too far. We'll try Well, it's gonna hurt, right? Hey, we're gonna try the ripping method. By ripping, hopefully it's not in my pants. <sighs> ripping method ain't gonna work. Nope. All right. <laughs> After the attempt of doing it the proper way where you squeeze it with pliers, we still end up ripping it off. So we ripped it off and the new one just goes straight on no big problem. Um, I still have to put in the Christmas trees to hold it in place. I did put the three bolts in. Uh, and then I need to go through and do the plastic rim nuts. Alright, back to the regularly scheduled program. Uh, so, it definitely looks much more aggressive than it did before. Uh, it has a lot more clearance. Uh, I'll get the exact numbers when I'm done. I'll, I'll break out the tape measure again, okay? I didn't move the tires. I didn't do anything like that. We can use exact numbers. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to finish the other side by ripping it off. And then uh, I install about 30 Christmas trees, a dozen and a half plastic rivets, and then I'll show you the end product. All right, so... All four are on, and boy, is there clearance. There's clearance for days. There's clearance for nights. There's probably clearance for months. Yeah, I said it. Months. Judge me all you want. It's already happened. I don't care. 
so let's get some uh, new measurements. I do not have the mud flaps on yet, but it's about the same location either way. We're sitting at about uh, six-ish back here still, and up at the top, we're sitting at about nine and a half, maybe ten. Well, nine if we're going down. And then for the side here, we're looking at about six. And for the top here, we got an about eight. So eight's at the top here and uh there's way more clearance, that's for sure. Bump stop is practically touching on this side, and we still have probably uh, three to four inches of clearance there. On this side, we're pretty drooped down for the most part, but uh, I'll have to get a follow up eventually, and it's also raining, so. I don't want to do this very long, but uh, hopefully this uh, helps you to decide whether or not the Rubicon fender flares are worth it for you. Thanks for watching.